Welcome in this section about the Android testing setup. In the Android testing setup, we will cover the host software setup, which software do you need to install on your machine, and the Corellium Android setup, which is the software you need to install to connect to a Corellium device in the cloud. For the host software setup, we have Android Studio, which is used by developers to build Android apps, but to do a security test or a test on an Android app or device, you don't need the complete Android Studio. We only need a couple features, which I will explain in the next slide. And there are also a few additional tools, like a VPN client, which you need to connect to the Corellium environment, an SSH client, you need to connect to an Android device, for example, and some optional tools like Android file transfer. All those tools are available for all operating systems. Android Studio. Android Studio is the integrated development environment to build Android apps. It also contains platform tools like ADB, the Android debug bridge, but we will cover this in the next video. Android Studio also contains a software development kit per Android version or API. So Android versions also have a number starting with API. As you can see in this screenshot, API 24 is for example Android 7. Next to the SDK, there is also an NDK available if you want to develop native libraries in C as an Android developer. And last, Android Studio also contains an Android Virtual Device Manager, which is a tool you can use to create virtual devices. So this is an alternative to Corellium. If you have a powerful machine and you want to create your own virtual devices, you can also do this in Android Studio. So let's have a quick look. So I have installed Android Studio on my machine. As you can see, Android Studio has an SDK manager. If I open it, you can see I only have one SDK installed for the latest Android version, Android 13 at the moment, but I could also install SDKs for all older versions of Android. And the virtual device manager, which is available, I have running with one virtual device. Start the virtual device, it's pretty quick. I already have a virtual device available on my machine. So for now, I think this is enough about Android Studio, because this training is not about developing an app, but it's about testing the app for security issues.